HDT and range, Chief. This one's a particularly murderous grunt. High Sumter Bricklard. He's one of the UNSC's most wanted. Don't underestimate him, Chief. Today I have been tasked with defeating all the high value targets in Halo Infinite's campaign without dying. Did I mention that I'm going to be doing it on Legendary, the hardest difficulty there is? Thankfully, having completed the game and fully upgraded my Spartan, Legendary isn't as difficult as it may have come across. It's definitely not as difficult as it has been in previous games, so the question is, will I be able to defeat all high value targets without dying from the grunts? groups and elites up to the hunter brothers myriad this is definitely going to be a difficult challenge even with all of the armor upgrades i have because snipers are still as deadly as always ghosts are deadly one of the high value targets is in a wraith so this is going to be definitely a challenge so if you want to find out if i defeat all the high value targets without dying make sure to watch to the end. If this is something that you enjoy and you want to see more challenge videos like this, make sure to leave a comment below on what you would like to see next. I hope you enjoy the video. The so next up is Bitbap. So I thought I'd get all the grunts out of the way first. You know, take the easy targets out and then leave the hardest for last seeing us. We're going to try do this in one life. But we should be able to just take out this guy with a sniper rifle from range. We don't have to worry about his crew. All I'm focused on is getting the high value targets. There he is there. He does have armor on. So it's going to take a couple of hits to get through. But if we look for a perfect headshot. Then we should be able to stagger him. And then uh, take him out after we take down his shields. So we're going to wait for him to turn around. And then it should be a pretty easy kill. I'll probably go for this to be fair. Enough shots to take down his armor. Go look out for their snipers too. Check him out. Unfortunately he regened. It's a bit annoying. Got him. And now we just gotta get out of the area. So right now we are looking for the next high value target which is a skimmer. This should be a pretty easy kill because I'm sure he doesn't have face armor. So as long as we can get sneaky over here and get an angle. We don't want to alert the rest of these guys because they do have stun rifles. Chuck rifles, sorry. So they will do a lot of damage. Uh, I really want this guy to turn around but we'll probably take a shot from here. Get the right angle. There you go. That's that guy gone. Kill on the HVT. Let's go on to the next high value target. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're facing off against Barath, another easy high value target to kill, seeing as it's just a jackal and it has no armor on its face. So we're just going to snipe this one from afar. This should be another very easy kill. And then it's going to start to get more challenging as we go up against the elites and brutes around the world. And eventually leading up to the Hunter Brothers Myriad. There you go, another easy kill. HVT eliminated. Next up is going to be Elites and Brutes, like mentioned. So this is where it's going to get very difficult. The next opponent we're going up against is Inca Sahan. So we're going to need a bigger gun for this guy because he will be armored up. Now I know the Elites do walk around without armor. But seeing as he's a high value target, I highly doubt he's going to walk around without armor. So we're going to pick up one of the big boy weapons here, and then make our way over to the next high value target. Moving up on Inca Sahan now. Hopefully he's not armored up, but like I said earlier, he's a high value target. So he probably will have his armor on from the get go. Let's try not to get discovered by this phantom. Now, unfortunately they do have snipers around the area, and there's no sneak mechanic in this game. As he took his armor down. It does look like it. I don't want to risk it. I have no idea how hard to shoot with this thing. So we're just going to send it from up here, I guess. We actually hit him. We actually hit him dead on. Oh no, he's gone invisible. Wow. This is a risky fight. Look out this other sniper. Where's he gone? 
This is not good. That's him there, I think. No, that's not him. I think he's got more of a purple cue. I'm actually surprised we didn't take him out straight away with that skewer. Looks like we're going to have to take all the guys out first. I don't know if we got enough sniper ammo for this. I'm hoping this isn't where we die. Come on. Shoot him in the spine. There we go. Let's make our way further. It looks like I'm going to have to pick up some weapons from around here. Oh, no, 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 no. An assault rifle, really? Make sure we don't get flanked by any of these guys. There he is. He's invisible over there. Pick up this needler. Hopefully we got the stick on that guy. We didn't. Okay. Oh my god, this is getting risky. He has a sniper too, so we're going to pick that up. Let's drop a shield here. Okay. We're doing well so far. There's no way that guy didn't die. No reinforcements. Wow, this is getting very sketchy right now. We just want to kill the guy. Oh no, oh no. No, this isn't going to plan at all. Get out of my face. Get out of here. Come on. Out of my way. You all don't have to die, just give me Inca Sahan. Alright, now he's on his own. That's the last of the squad. Let's take down that target and finish the job. Yeah, if we can even do that. Finally got him. That was a tough fight, but thankfully we did it without dying. Oof. Yeah. So we're gonna make our way onto the next target, which will be a brute. I think we'll go after a brute this time. I feel like the brutes will be actually a lot easier than an elite. So we're gonna go for a brute next. First, we're gonna refresh on our weapons, seeing as we completely ran out of them last time. So we're going to grab our sniper back. I think we're going to go with this volatile skewer again. I actually hit him first time, the last high value target, with the drop. So it seems like I'm, I got a decent eye for the drop on the volatile skewer. So we're going to use it this time to take out the next high value target, which will be a brute. Next up is a Belkaris, a brute high value target. He should be in the depth of that little valley there, so we're not going to bother with these guys here. We're going to try get around without being spotted. See if we can take him out before taking out anyone else. This hopefully isn't as difficult as the last high value target we just took out. But yeah, he does have armor, so I might... Okay, okay, keep walking. Oh no. That just sent him higher in the air. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. Boom. Took him out. That was that handles the target. highly effective. Let's get the rest of the Thankfully, we took out the last high value target with ease, so we don't have to go and refill our ammo. We're going to keep on going through this. This guy has the same weapon as I do, the Volatile Skewer. 
So this is going to be a very risky fight. We're going to have to take him out before he notices us. Because uh, they have aimbot, pretty much. I've been destroyed by Skewer many, many times. This guy has lots of snipers on the outskirts. So we're going to try and get a high vantage point over on this cliffside here. And he should be just sitting down in the valley. So hopefully we don't get recognized by anyone. And more especially that Banshee. Because that Banshee will absolutely destroy me. There he is down there. Oh, okay. He doesn't have a Volatile Skewer. Sorry. I think that's the... Yeah, that's the weapon you get from him. But right now he's got a Scrap Cannon. So we're going to hit him with the Volatile Skewer. And then go for a bunch of snipes. Hopefully take off his helmet. I don't have any more grenades. I could have used a... Done grenade. I can't remember what they're called. Shot grenade. Oh no. Hopefully that didn't alert the rest. It did. Alright, we're just going to try to take this guy out. Yes, we are. That's pretty easy. Nope. The brutes are pretty easy, so I think we're just going to clean out the rest of the brutes before we get onto the elites. And then leading up to the hardest of them all, Myriad, the Hunter Bond Brothers. I actually noticed coming into this that we forgot. We forgot a Jackal. So we're going to take her out now because it should be a pretty easy kill. Unfortunately, they have already spotted me. Or at least they think they have. So we're going to try get around here unnoticed. Get an angle on Rith and take her out pretty easy. It does seem like I have been found out. We're going to try something here. We're going to try something I probably shouldn't. I'm definitely not going to try it now. Wait for that phantom to leave and then we're just going to grapple up into the sky. Try get an angle and then take her out. I don't see her at all. I don't see her at all. Let's shoot this up here. Get a lay of the land. Yeah, I don't see her at all. Maybe we'll do another grapple up. And then another pulse. Over there. Okay, I see her over there. I saw her. So hopefully... I see her over there somewhere. Get out of my way. And then go back up. No, 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 no. Okay. Yep, there she is. She's done. That's the last of the jackals down. So now we're going to go back onto the brutes. Clear them out. And then go to the elites. So right now we're going up against another brute. He does have the Ravager, which is the worst weapon in the game. So I'm not worried about him attacking me at all. It's just everyone on the outskirts because there is a lot of enemies over here. Thankfully, they don't recognize pulses. There's a lot of enemies. There's a sniper down here too. But thankfully, the next brute is actually just over this hill. But he does have a rocket launcher, so I am worried about him. So that should be a, a tougher fight. Hopefully we can take him out before he notices us too. But right now we're going to find Arthur. And try to take him out before anyone notices. This guy's a shock rifle too. I've already just noticed that. So hopefully we don't get sore by him. Maybe this guy's back turned to us. There's Arthur. We're going to drop a volatile skewer on him. I missed. I missed. Oh no. This could be bad. There is a marine base over there. So if things get too dicey, I'm going to jump over there, grab some marines. But we should be alright. There we go, we got him. This should be it, this should be it. Oh no, no, no. Drop a shield. Can we get a headshot? Nice. We should be clear of it. To the crew. That should be it. We should be in the clear. Uh, it doesn't seem like I'm going to have to armor up. So we're just going to go straight over to the next high value target. See if we can take him out with five bullets and two volatile skewers. But there's Zeratus. I see him straight away. He has the tracker rocket launcher. So this guy is exceptionally 
deadly. I need to take him out before he even gets a shot off on me. Unfortunately, I don't have any grenades. I feel like after I kill this guy, there's definitely going to be something that I need to go after. Get some shock grenades to hold these guys in place. But we're going to try to get a nice angle here with the volatile skewer. He does have a jetpack as well. So that could be from something that could be something I aim for, but we're just going to let off a shot now. No way. No way his reaction speeds are that quick. Alright, so yeah. They have Soros. Right from the land. Hit him with that, hit him with that. Wow, your animations are your undoing. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So I think we have maybe one brute left. So we're going to go after that guy next. He does have a hammer, so I'm not too worried about that guy either. So we're going to take him out. We're going to refill our ammo first. And then uh, go ahead and take him out. Next up, I believe, is the last of the brutes. And how fitting it is that it is a chieftain. So we're going to try to get this guy from range because he does have a gravity hammer he is surrounded by lots of enemies but none that i'm too worried about so this should be another clean quick kill and uh, then we'll be moving on to the elites which there's a wraith elite which obviously is going to be very tough and an elite with the sentinel beam which absolutely lasers surrounded by ghosts and brutes with skewers so that's going to be difficult you see I got up there with a shock rifle. Uh, I think that's the only guy at range. So I'm not sure how to take this. I have swapped out the volatile skewer for the for the shock rifle. And I picked up a bunch of grenades too, just in case things get dicey. I think what I'll do is I'll do a drop shield. Because I have it fully upgraded. And then just go for the head. And just absolutely destroy him. Ah, oh, he's going behind cover. Hit him there. Yeah, he's going to run away, isn't he? It seems like we're going to have to take out the rest of the guys. First, then. Unless he comes out of hiding. Maybe we can lower him up here. But I don't see any other long-range enemies. So, we're seeing... There you go. There's one in the back. It should be pretty easy pickings from over here. relatively easy. I'm hoping he pushes up towards me, but that doesn't seem to be the case. We might have to just take everyone out and then face him down. Maybe pick up his hammer even. See how that goes. I really don't want to die. We've come this far. I do want to reach the hunters without dying, so I don't want to be too risky. I don't want to be too risky. I think we could take him with his own hammer though. Honestly. Gotta take out the surrounding guys first. There's a bunch in the woods over there, I don't even notice. Ah, oh, he's calling back up. Oh my, they got a commando. For some reason, they aim bar with that gun. I have no idea why. He's actually pushing us now. Okay, we're gonna have to take him out, aren't we? You really wanna go? Oh, this is getting dicey. This is getting very dicey. We're almost defeated all of his troops, though. So I think what we do is pick up, pick up the hammer and uh, fight him like that. Yep, literally. Where's his weapon? I don't know where his weapon is. There you go. There's his weapon. Oh, this is going to be a fight that goes on for a very long time. I'm just going to keep sending him on. Oh, my God. 
man. This is risky. I think this should be it though. Yeah. Absolutely sent him. That was a pretty cool fight. Thankfully, we didn't die. Yeah. With style too, we took him out with his own hammer. Yeah. Now, we're going to move on to the elites, I believe. That was the last of the brutes. So this is where the challenge gets a lot more difficult. We're going to resupply right now. The next elite is Okro Vagadoom. So he is the first high value target you would kill in the campaign. So we're going to go after him now. He does use a lot of camo. So we're going to use the... Hmm. I don't know what weapon to use. I guess we're going to take down his shield. So we're going to use this bad boy. And then just go in for the clean ballistic headshot with the sniper rifle. Like I said, it goes invisible a lot. So we're just going to use the sensor sensor beacon or whatever it's called. This should be a pretty easy kill, to be fair. So we are now coming up on Okro Vagadoom. Thankfully, he is at the very low ground around here, right on the edge of the cliff face, or what you'd call it. It looks like the stalker rifle doesn't aim in that far. We're going to send off a beacon over there. Hopefully it lands next to him. Okay, that was a bit too far. Send another one over there. Oh, I almost actually landed on him. Just to keep him lit up, because as soon as I shoot, he's going to go invisible. Is that enough to take his shields off? Nope. Did we even do any damage to him? Oh my god. Uh, this might be more difficult than I thought. Are we getting some spray damage on him? Did we kill him? No, we killed someone. Yeah, this isn't going to work shooting from afar, so I think we're going to have to take the guys out for this one. Oh. We killed him? I'll take it, I guess. I don't know. I have no idea how we killed him. I guess we did. So we're just going to retreat and go on to the next elite. The stalker rifle didn't seem to do any good for us. So this time we're going to change up our tactics a little bit. I don't want to use the same weapons over and over. I want to try new things every time. Uh, let's try the cinder shot. I don't use this weapon enough. Let's try and use this. See if we can take out the next opponent. Which has a very, very powerful weapon. So we don't want to get too close. There's going to be lots of ghosts too. So hopefully this weapon comes in handy in taking those ghosts down. So we're going to move on to the next target. Which is Thav Severin. So right now we're closing in on Thav Severin. This guy is very closely guarded. I don't want to peek over this rock yet. Because there's actually... A bunch of enemies around this location. I'm going to show you the brute really quick and then duck my head. Because he is looking in this direction. We might actually have to go over there and come from that direction. Because this guy is just looking over here. And I don't... He spots me. He spots me already. I guess we just got to go in loud. There are a lot of... There. I knew there was another sniper over there. I think that's the only two snipers in the area. But there are a lot of ghosts. And that guy's just sitting there. This gun isn't as powerful as I thought it was. Oh, no one's in it. <laughs> what a waste of ammo. No, 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 no. This isn't good. I think he's in a ghost. He might be in a ghost. He is in a ghost. That should be pretty easy to destroy, though. Maybe he'll die with it. So it might actually be an easy kill. He did die with it. Wow. We're eliminated, but we're not finished yet. Get yeah, we are. I'm finished. Yeah, I'm out of here. I've got all the kills I need. I just need to survive this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're out of it. I'm going on to the next elite, which should be pretty difficult, because he's in a wraith. So we're going to need... Maybe rocket launchers, maybe the Volatile Skewer. I'm just going to light it up. I mean, if that works so well, 
I feel like destroying the vehicle before he gets a chance to escape it should be an easy kill for the next one too. So we're gonna go right onto that. All right, we're gonna resupply on our sniper here. This is a heavy, there is a heavy enemy presence around this area. So we're gonna make sure we've got full ammo on our sniper rifle and a good enough weapon to take out a wraith, which I think I'm gonna bring out the, the tracker rocket launcher on this one. Just to make sure I don't miss. Because we're going to have to light hey. this thing up. Hopefully destroy it before we get killed, essentially. I don't know how many snipers are in this area. I've only killed this guy a couple of times. So hopefully it's an easy uh, an easy kill to make. So we're going to go for that. So next up is Ordo Mal. He has a Wraith. No, you do not see me. You do not see me. I have not been that sneaky the last few kills. I apologize for that. Probably be a bit sneakier, but there is no stealth system in this game, so if the bots see me, they see me. Where HVT is... HVT nearby, Chief. Okay. Ordo Maul. Yep. One of the most lethal assets they've got. He's not going to go down easy, but taking him out will only improve the UNSC's chances on the ring. So we're coming up on him now. We're looking out for his wraith. Which for some reason I can't see. Oh no. They're onto me. Will you leave me alone, please? Oh no. They are everywhere right now. I just heard a rocket launcher. Yeah, that's you. This guy here. Oh my god. This is getting deadly. There he is. There's a wraith, there's a wraith. Go invisible. Try relocate. Hopefully they don't track me over here. This is getting very dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. Where is the wraith? There it is. Probably got a tag on it. I think we might have hit it with a tag then. And thankfully, he's actually moved away from everywhere else. It should be an easy kill. I say. But he does have armor inside of that thing. We're just going to light him up. Oh, no. Oh, we got him. We got him. Target down. Get after the crew. Very nice. So now that's dealt with. I think we're closing in on our last high value target. So we're just going to double check that and then I'll get back to you. Ride, you order, Chief. Stand by. So right now we're going to be rolling up to Myriad in a tank. I feel like it's a fitting end to this mission we gave ourselves. Defeat all the high value targets without dying. Which so far we have successfully done thanks to my extensive knowledge in the campaign having over 400 hours playing this campaign which i know is a, a long time and a lot of people would maybe have a significant less amount of time way, considering sir. not a lot of people like this campaign but i think it's decent nice open world point, so we're Easy. gonna finish this mission up with a tank and i also brought a hammer to give the last final blow to Myriad with the Diminisher of Hope, which we took from Esheron at the end of the game. Two of the most dangerous so, it seems very see. poetic. Thankfully, it's night time, so there's not a lot of enemies around right now. We should be able to get up to Myriad without much trouble at all. Nice they're, actually, kill, they're actually focusing fire on somebody over Go there, so maybe I've already got Marine over here. Which should help. Turn around. Turn the tank around. So we're just going to send shots at Myriad. See if we can take one of them out. Get the other one to go berserk. Before we lose the tank. Which I think we'll lose it pretty easy. Okay, we're going to hit him down to that health. We don't want to fully kill him. I didn't want to do that either. We don't need the tank. Tank's a bit overkill. We're going to take out the rest of the enemies before we even defeat Myriad. And hopefully, the Marines don't do us for us. Oh, they got a... Wow. I was going to say they got a Chieftain as if it was uh, going to be 
hazardous to us, but he just died very easy. They really need to have a harder difficulty, I believe. If they brought in a new game plus, or rather mission replay, the game's just too easy. Especially when you fully upgrade, the game just becomes very... Oh, <laughs> maybe I should have put a drop shield instead. Wow. Come on then, Myriad. Just me and you. I think... No, we probably didn't kill the rest of the people. Let's just double check we killed everyone first. Okay. There you go. All of the crew. And Myriad's barely doing any damage, to be fair. This should be an easy kill. I don't want to long it out too much, so we're going to get a drop shield just to get closer. So they can't shoot us, and then boom. Should be a pretty easy kill. There we go. Nobody will. Yeah, no match at all. I don't think she uh, catches on. So we just defeated every high value target in Halo Infinite's campaign on Legendary without dying. So if you like this video, please make sure to show that by dropping a like, comment what you would like to see me do next, because this is an extensive, expansive, whichever word is the right word, campaign, a massive open world, which could be filled with lots of challenges. So if you have a challenge you would like me to undertake in Halo Infinite's campaign, make sure to let me know in the comment below. And I really hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it, no matter how necessarily easy it was. So maybe pick out a much harder challenge and I'll try to get that done for you in the next video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.